Hey guys, and welcome back. Welcome to episode 192 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. It's been a little while since our last one, so let's get right into it. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Options Element module. This module basically allows a nice JavaScript overlay to enter key and value fields for using uh, checkboxes or radio buttons. So it's a nice easy way to do that and add more and change them up and everything like that. So we're going to get into that and show you the full features of the Options Element module. But before you know we do that, I just want to make sure you head on over to CodeKarate.com and make sure to take advantage of a lot of the stuff we have going on over there. One thing we want to make sure you know about is we are offering a giveaway for our Drupal Commerce course. So you can enter here for a chance to win one of five giveaways. Currently we're charging $249 for the course. It's about four and a half hours of content. So it's definitely a great deal. Make sure to enter that and then you can share with your friends to increase your chances of winning. Also, one thing I want to point you to is we do offer a five-part Git series. Just recently released this. Um, includes everything you would need to know about Git, from setting it up to pushing to pulling to um, making new branches, pretty much everything in between. So make sure to check that out as well. All right, let's get to the module. Again, we are using a module called Options Element. And so it's pretty widely used. About 38 or 39,000 people have used it or report using it. Um, I am using the 1.12 version, um, Drupal 7. So make sure if you're watching this video and they've had updates, um, you make sure to check that out. It looks like it hasn't been updated in a while, so it's pretty stable. Um, good module to try and use. So once we get that downloaded, we can start configuring it. But before we do that, I want to show you kind of what it would look like before we add the module. So all I did here is I just created a content type called student. So obviously to do that, just add content type. And then I just added a field onto this content type called grade level. And so basically what I'm gonna use that for is just to select which grade level the student belongs to. So once I do that, I can edit this field. Again, just giving it the label. And then if you see down here, here's where I have to put my allowed values list in. So traditionally when you're using Drupal, what you have to do is you have to add your key and then a bar and then label. So the key is just a unique um, value and then the label is what shows to the end user. So you can see here I'm using zero bar first grade, one bar second grade. So if I want to add one for third grade, I can do third grade. Obviously make sure that the keys all have to be unique. So I couldn't do another two or another one or zero key. I have to always make them different from each other. So right now when I do that and I click save, it's still gonna allow me to, if I go to add content, and I want to add a student. If I scroll down here, I'll still be able to select first, second, or third grade, just as you would expect, which is fine. And typically, if you're comfortable with, with using the key value, you can get away with that. But what the options element module is going to allow us to do is add some J JavaScript overlay and make it a little easier to understand what's going on. So to do that, we just install the module. We scroll down here. We're just going to enable the module. It's really cool is there's no configuration on this module. It automatically just works. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And then once that's turned on, if we come back to our content type here and we wanna edit, so we wanna add a couple more grades, we can just scroll down here and things start to look a little differently. As you can see now, the key and the value are separated in individual text fields. So if I wanna add a new one, I can do it a couple different ways. I can add a new item like this, it'll pop down below, and I can do fourth grade. Again, it still has to be unique, not a thing like that changed. I can select a default pretty easily here. So if I want first grade to be checked by default, or sorry, second grade. Um, if I want to add one, I can also just click on what's done next to it and I'll drop down one below. So I can add one for fifth grade, and so on and so forth. I can also delete one if I want by clicking these X's here. And if I do want to switch back to the manual mode, I can do that, and you can see here it just goes back to the key bar value input as we had before. But if I click this normal entry, again it goes back. I can easily drag these around, so if I wanted second grade to appear last, I could just easily do that. But of course I don't, um, so I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then again, if I go to creating a student here, and I can just refresh this page, scroll down, You'll see it's now the fifth grade's added, second grade is default, which is what I set it as. And that makes that pretty easily. You obviously, if you want, you can come back here and switch that from radio buttons to check 
boxes by changing this to unlimited. And if I save that, and I refresh over here, now you can see there's check boxes and I can check multiple ones as well. So it works just like you would expect it to. The only difference being that it, it provides a nice little functionality to easily add key and value, um, or key and label, excuse me, fields, as well as reordering them and adding new ones. So again, not a real complicated module by any means. It's more module I just wanna make sure you guys were aware of. Um, makes it nice and easy from a user experience standpoint. So definitely something you can check out easy enough to install. All right, guys, well, that includes the module today. Obviously, make sure, again, to head on over to CodeKarate.com. Check out all of our other daily or Drupal videos, our Git series, as well as sign up for the newsletter and check out our free course. So a lot of stuff to do. Make sure you get involved. We'd love to hear your feedback, any other modules you might want us to look at, and anything else going on in your life. So take care, guys, and until next time, see ya.